Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working in grade 5 on module 1, lesson number 4. And tonight we are using exponents to denote powers of 10 with application to metric conversions. So we have a lot of the same work that we did yesterday um, on our exponents, but this time we're going to be using metric conversions specifically. So that'll give us a reason for why we're multiplying or dividing by 10 or 100 or 1000, because this time we're going to be converting units. So we went over some, some of this today in class. Let's take a look at a few problems from tonight's homework. How about problem number one? Let's highlight together. We are going to convert and write an equation with an exponent. Use your meter strip when it helps you. So I'm going to let you use your meter strips. I don't have the uh, luxury of a meter strip here on the uh, online version, but let's take a look at 1a. They ask, they're asked to convert two meters into centimeters. And they say, okay, I'm going to hop over here. They say, well, if we're going to go from meters to centimeters, there's 100 centimeters in every meter, so we're going to take every meter, that's 2, and we're going to multiply it by 100. In this case, they expressed 100 as 10 to the second power, and that gives us 200, so they give us our answer. 2 meters is the same as 200 centimeters, and hey, I know that's true because I definitely looked at our, our diagram first thing in our lesson today, and that was actually a diagram of exactly 2 meters. That was exactly 200 centimeters, so I know that's right. Let's take a look at 1c, if we can work on that one. 2.49 meters to centimeters. Oh, okay, so we have the same conversion that's going on here in the first problem. So that tells me that we're going to need to do a couple of things. Um, I'm going to go right here to the to the, uh, the third column here and say, let's see, so we've got, we've got to go from meters, 2.49 meters to centimeters. We're going to need to multiply by, oh, the same thing. We need to multiply by 100, but we're going to express 100 using exponents, so that's 10 to the second power. And if we were to do that calculation, 2.49 times 10 to the second, we know that every digit in this number would move two spots to the left because we are multiplying it times 10 and times 10 again. So instead of two ones, it's going to be two hundreds. Instead of four tenths, it's going to be four tens. And instead of nine hundredths, it's going to be nine ones. And that tells us that 2.49 centimeters is the same as... 249, I'm sorry, 2.49 meters here is the same as 2.249 centimeters. That seems right. Let's take a look at uh, 1D. What if we were to convert 50 centimeters to meters? Oh, so here we're going from the smaller unit to the bigger unit. So that means we're going to have a lot fewer units and we need to divide. So let's see. Uh, there's 100 centimeters in every meter, so I know we're going to need to divide by 100. So we're starting off with 50, so I'll start here. We're starting off with 50 centimeters divided by, and that's how I'm going to express 100, right? 10 to the second power. So 50 divided by 10 to the second power. So let's see, every unit in our number here, 50, needs to move to the right two places, right? So our tens are going to become ones and then tenths. So let's see. And our zero is going to go from the ones place to the to the tenths place to the hundredths place. So there's like that. And so we can say that 50 centimeters is the same as 0 0.5 meters or 0 0.50 meters, either way. And that makes sense, right? We go from a larger number of small units, right? 50 really tiny centimeters. And remember, centimeters are only about this big, right? Uh, 50 centimeters, and that's the same as half, or 0.5, of a meter. Again, that makes sense to me. All right, let's take a look at a couple more problems on number two. Problem number two says, convert using an equation with an exponent. Use your meter strip when it helps you. And again, we're going to start working with 4 point, I'm going to work here on 2e, 4.92 meters to millimeters. Let's see, there's a thousand mill right there's a hundred centimeters in a meter so that must mean there's a thousand millimeters in a meter we're going from big units to small units so that tells me we're going to have to multiply so i'm going to say this is 4.92 times let's see a thousand must be 10 to the third power a hundred would be 10 to the second power so yep a thousand would be 10 to the third power and so when we do that calculation we're going to need to move every place value here every unit we're going to need to use Take that digit and move it two, I'm sorry, three units to the left. So the four goes from the ones to the tens to the hundreds to the thousands. So it looks like 4,920, right? 
four in the thousands place, nine now in the hundreds place, two now in the tens place, and nothing in the ones place. 4,920. So 4.92 meters is the same as 4,920 4, milliliters. That looks right to me. Let's do problem 2F. This time we're going to go the opposite way. We are going to go from the small unit to the big unit. And again, there's a thousand millimeters in a meter. So let's see. We're going to start with our 3, and this time we're going to divide, and we have to divide by, oh, that same thing, 10 to the third power, right? 10 to the third power. Now that gets kind of dicey, right? We've got to move it three place values. So if we think about our place value chart, we're in the ones place. We need to move three places to our right. So that would go, one place would go to the tenths, two places would go to the hundredths, three places would go to the thousandths, so that's 0.0. .0 zero three. So three millimeters is the same as zero point zero zero three meters. Awesome. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Problem number four. Yi Ting's height is one point four nine meters. Express this measurement in millimeters. Explain your thinking. Include an equation with an exponent in your explanation. So let's see, we're going to go from meters, which is a pretty big unit, to millimeters, which is a tiny unit. Let's see, I remember from our lesson today that there are a thousand millimeters in every meter. So I know that I'm going to have to do this kind of a conversion. 1.49 times a thousand will give me my number in millimeters. But hey, I'm not supposed to express a thousand like that. I'm supposed to express it with an exponent. So let's see, a thousand has three zeros, so that tells me this is ten to the third. 10 to the third power is the same as 1,000. So 1 1.49 times 10 to the third, let's see. So now every single unit is going to move out three places. So the one is going to go from the ones to the tens to the hundreds to the thousands place, the hundreds place, the tens place, the ones place. And I'm going to say, let's see, we've got to read. We don't really do a drawing, so let's see. We'll just do a read and a write strategy. Yi Ting is 1,490 millimeters tall. Excellent. So we multiplied, let's see, we multiplied meters times 1,000 or 10 to the third power to get millimeters. I'm going to abbreviate to mm for millimeters. That's our thinking. Let's see, that's our statement of our answer. We didn't really do a drawing this time, so I'm going to cross out our read, our draw part of our read, draw, write strategy. But I think that solves this problem for us. So thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kong Has Problems. I'll see you again next time. Take care.